Hi everybody. So for today's video, the sole purpose of me doing this is to review this 16 hour cover and last powder foundation from Essence. I've been looking forward to using this for a while. I have seen a lot of other creators test it and we didn't have it for the longest time, but then I walked into the shop the other day and I saw it, so I picked it up. I do have some other bits and bobs that I picked up as well, not many, but let's jump straight in. So as I mentioned, I do have a couple of other bits and bobs that I purchased. So the first thing I got is this Essence Lip Oil in Cranberry with a tinting effect. So it is just this. So before we jump in with all the foundation products, I'm just gonna apply this to the lip. Mm. I only own like one other lip oil and it is the Kiko Milano one, which is quite old right now, but mm. That feels really nice on the lips. Let's see what it looks like. Mm. It's not as sticky as a glass, but I'm not like a gloss person anyway, because I don't like when you like drink and stuff and it just leaves stuff everywhere. So that is quite nice. We'll see if it wears quickly like the other one I have does, but it does feel very moisturizing and nourishing on the lips. So mm, happy with that. Next I got this Wet n Wild Prime Focus Primer Serum and it is supposed to be hydrating. My skin is very dehydrated so I thought I would pick this up. It was like 150 Rand which I think is pretty expensive but especially for Wet n Wild but Wet n Wild isn't like a an affordable product here at home or here in South Africa shall I say. But it is a hydrating water-based serum formulated with rose water and green tea extract. It refines and nourishes as it preps and primes skin for extended makeup wear. So that sounds very exciting. I am low on primers at the moment because I left a lot of my stuff in the UK. So this is what it looks like. So it's like pink and it's got like a gold shift to it. Then it just has like a little pipette for application. So let's take some of these, some of this. I'm just gonna take three drops. It does feel like water, if I'm being honest. It smells like alcohol. It does feel very watery, as it says it is water-based. I just put so much on because I actually can't feel it on my skin. It does have like fine glitter in it. So I can see the actual glitter on my face. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it doesn't feel like much on the skin. That could be a good thing. <laughs> but since we're going on with a powder foundation, I'm just going to go ahead and add some concealer. I'm using the Essence Camouflage and Matte Concealer in the shade Medium Fawn. I'm sure everybody knows that if you're going in with a powder foundation, you've got to lay down all your liquids first. So this is the only liquid I will be using today. So I've just zoomed you in so we can go ahead with the foundation. So the product description online says, this powder foundation convinces with its exceptional performance. Its lightweight texture feels weightless and fresh on the skin while offering high coverage, is waterproof, transfer proof and lasts up to 16 hours thanks to the matte finish it's time to say bye bye to shine perfect for a quick touch up or on the go this powder foundation comes with a mirror and a sponge they do also only have four shades and there is classic vanilla uh, brown sugar the one i got a darker one which is hazelnut and then there's a strange shade called espresso but it's not darker than the hazelnut strange but i got the shade brown sugar this is what it looks like as you can see when i bought it it looks like someone has already swatched it and it didn't have like a protective thing which sucks from clicks but anyway yeah let's just go ahead and apply this i'm gonna apply it with the sponge that it comes with on one side and then with a foundation brush on the other side to see if it gives us any different coverage. The sponge is stupid, I don't even really want to use it. We'll just, we'll just have a look and see how it works. But it's just like a silicone sponge, so it picks up really dark. And then I'm just going to, as you can see, I have a spot there, so I'm just going to blend that on the spot. Okay, I can't handle the sound it's making. I don't know if you can hear some ASMR but that is cringe so I'm not going to use that. It has eliminated shine but I wouldn't say that it's giving particularly good coverage 
but I'm gonna go ahead and use a foundation brush this is the makeup buffer brush by essence I'm just going to load my brush and then I'm just going to stipple this onto the skin starting over here so I think this is meant to be like a dupe for the elf one but I haven't tried the elf one I'm not really into powder foundations if I'm being honest it just makes my skin look powdery I feel like I'm breathing it in <coughs> it does <coughs> have a lot of kick up even when you're putting it on your face so I've just zoomed you guys in a little bit more so this is the side that I've just applied it to and this is the side without what do we think I'm undecided because I, I thought it might like minimize pores and stuff and have like a nice blurring property but it really doesn't yeah I wouldn't say it's even full coverage because it barely covered up my spot over there but it has dulled the shine down it's not terrible for sure but depending on how it wears is definitely gonna determine whether I like it or not it's not any quicker than putting on foundation I think it actually takes longer than putting on a liquid foundation for sure so I'm just gonna go ahead and do the same thing on the other side and we'll just speed through that Okay, so that's the whole face complete. I'm undecided about this, to be honest. Like maybe the shade is a little bit off, but one thing I do like about it is that it doesn't enhance any of my texture. It's kind of just like smooths over it. It doesn't take it away, but it doesn't enhance it either. So I do like it for that. Um, it does take a bit longer to apply. Maybe I should have tried like a bigger fluffy brush. But as far as I know, it's best to use like a foundation brush if you do want like concentrated coverage. It doesn't have a massive amount of coverage. It's kind of like just a tinted powder that I would add over my foundation if I wanted more coverage. On its own, it doesn't particularly look amazing, but I am impressed that it's not like clinging to anything. Like I thought it might be look like really powdery, but it doesn't. But anyway, let's just go ahead and apply the rest of our face makeup yeah our face makeup and i'll do my eyes off camera um but we'll just speed through it so then you can see how everything is performing while we go along so here we go So this is the face complete for now. I'm just gonna jump off camera and do my eyeshadow and then we'll come back and do the lips together because I have a new lip product. Okay, so eyes all done. If you wanna see how I achieved it, please go look at my TikTok because I have posted it on there. Anyway, so the lipstick I got is the Hydra Matte Lipstick from Essence once again. And the shade I got is Honey, STLY. What does that stand for? Honey Stelly? I don't know what that means. Silently? Subtly? Not sure. But anyway, my contour looks really muddy on camera. But anyway, moving on. So the lip oil, it lasted very long. I just did a whole YouTube video and a TikTok. So that lasted really, really well. I'm really happy with that. My lips do still feel sticky, which means the moisture's, I guess, sticking to that. And, oh, I really like the packaging. I don't know if you saw, it is like, okay, so it has pink packaging, and I absolutely love pink. And the canister or the component looks like that. Let's do a little swatch of this. Ooh. I really am into like more like muted lips at the moment, and I haven't had the best luck with Essence like their lip products in general. I find that it just slips and slides off my lips. So I'm just gonna line my lips quickly. 
as you know i like a darker lip line and a lighter lipstick but for lip liner i just use this uh, wet and wild color icon in chestnut and let's go ahead and apply the lipstick mm, i really like that color it smells like watermelon strangely enough i don't know if it's because it's pink and it's like a placebo but it does really look like watermelon just gonna tap in the edges i really like that oh my gosh score this is probably the best thing we've tried today other than the lip oil which are probably my two favorite items of today so the serum primer i do like it it added like a nice glow underneath my makeup i really appreciate that so i will continue using this and i will update you in the description bar what i think of it as well as maybe add it in another video the 16 hour cover 16 hour cover and last foundation i do like it it's looking better on my skin the longer i wear it i think because my natural oils are mixing in with it and it's looking okay i did choose a shade slightly too dark i think but there are only four shades available and light is too light for me so essence i definitely think you need to expand your range on that but yeah i'll link everything else that i have on my face down below i am not going to do a wear test because i am headed to the gym and i need to film another video after this but um yeah i'll test it again and i'll let you guys know and please let me know if there's anything else you would like to see me tested standout products like i said were the lipstick and the lip oil amazing but other than that that's it from me guys i hope you enjoyed this video please remember to give it a thumbs up and also to subscribe and click the bar icon for notifications every time i upload but other than that it's it from me bye guys